Royal Enfield brakes are failing. Or are they? According to at least one Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 Facebook group user, Royal Enfield just says, yeah, that's normal. As someone who's owned a couple Royal Enfields over the years and pointed out some obvious flaws in their quality, as well as things I really like about my Interceptor, I wanted to chime in, so let's take a look at what's going on. Here's the original post from a Dersh from Facebook. I'm gonna read it to you real quick. Hello friends, I've been using my Interceptor since 2019. I experienced a serious accident that was not my fault. While riding downhill, I was randomly applying both the engine brake and the normal brakes. Suddenly, my rear brake became spongy, causing me to lose control. I slowed down and continued using my front brake to reach the nearest town for brake repairs. However, my front brake also failed, and the brake lever moved freely. I was on a turn and riding downhill when I suddenly swerved onto the adjacent track and collided with the bike against a sidewall on the road. I survived with the assistance of divine intervention and only sustained a deep cut on my foot that required surgical intervention to repair the vein and tendon. Ugh. Subsequently, I reached out to Royal Enfield regarding this matter and requested me to bring the vehicle to their service center for inspection. After interacting with them, they informed me that this is a common occurrence in these bikes and that it is considered a normal case. What? This information has raised concern about the reliability of the bike for future rides. Therefore, I urge all riders to exercise caution, etc., etc. So I'm Adrian from the Motorcycle. I make videos that help motorcyclists. Today's video is going to be all about looking at this situation, comments from people who also own these vehicles, who have also experienced brake failure, so we can see if there's some commonality here. I've ridden for 20 years. I've worked in the motorcycle industry for over 15. Wow. Anyway, yeah. Let me tell you about Facebook groups. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with them. I hate Facebook, but I do love model-specific Facebook groups because unlike general forums or Reddits, you get people who really know your exact motorcycle and own them and have first-hand experience with them. So let's see what the Interceptor 650 Facebook group users have to say about brake failures on Royal Enfield. David says, I've got a 2022 Interceptor and had my rear brake completely fail two times. Luckily, both times wasn't far from my dealer, who replaced the fluid and it's caused by an airlock each time. Had no problems with front brake, luckily. Why is air getting into your system twice? Once, maybe a fluke, but twice, not good. Keen? I've had similar issues with the rear brake on two occasions. Again, what is happening? Both times it appears to have been air in the ABS system. Your ABS system should be totally sealed. If it's a good quality system, it will be totally sealed. Air should not be getting in there. Moisture should not be getting in there. It should be closed off completely. Marcus says, common, normal, WTF. I wholeheartedly agree with that. Gabriel says, I bought my Interceptor new in March of 2024 and had my rear brake completely fail on a 400 mile round trip and was told it was common with these bikes. Keep in mind, this is less than a year old bike, rear brake, totally failed on them. Three or four months later, third gear completely went and now my trip section of the dials has stopped working, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so Gabriel's not very impressed with his bike. And then we get some suggestions on other issues. It could be, you know, Chin Mei says, when's the last time you replaced your brake fluid? Very good question. Uh, Gary says, sounds like brake fade. We'll talk about that in a second because that is an absolutely a fair point. Milton's like, where did this air come from? Seriously. What else do we got here? Max Dodds self-identifies as a wanker. Gabriel says that it could be moisture in the system. That was my first impressions too. I don't know that we can totally rule it out. That's a fair point. And Fabio says, did you do the official brake recall at the dealer? Yeah. Another person asked, did you do the brake recall, etc." And then someone says he has the same issues of the brakes start to kind of fade and then they cool down and they start to work again. I just want to point out that the brakes that come with your motorcycles should be, from manufacturer, able to completely exceed the maximum power in any situation that your specific motorcycle should find itself in. The brakes are always made to go above and beyond what your motorcycle can actually do. There's no reason for your motorcycle's brakes to be conking out. There's no reason why any good manufacturer's braking components should not be able to be more than strong enough for what the power output of the motorcycle is. So for years, I've been talking about Royal Enfield Interceptor 650s having brake issues and people have taken it super personally. They've denied it. They've gotten very upset with me and emotionally attacked me in the comments. I even had one guy from India who sent me a death threat that I'm still waiting for him to make good on. So does that mean that I was right and justified for all those times I mentioned brake issues? Well, 
Yes and no. So let me give you a real quick explanation. I just want to go nerd mode for one minute. Your brake system uses brake fluid to transfer the force of you squeezing the lever or pushing down on your foot lever, and it pushes that fluid through which into the caliper, which then squeezes your <laughs> brake pads together against the spinning rotor, which slows down the rate that the rotor spins, which slows down your wheels and brings your motorcycle to a halt. All of that causes a lot of friction, which causes a lot of grinding, which causes a lot of heat. And that's why brake fluid has a high boiling point. Like your brake fluid can do about 230 degrees Celsius or 446 degrees Fahrenheit. But once your brake fluid gets old, it can only handle about 311 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a 33% performance reduction in your braking power. So what happens when your brakes stop working how they should? Sometimes it's exactly what our friend Adersh on the Facebook post is describing. All of a sudden things start feeling spongy at the lever, things stop performing how they're supposed to. Your brakes basically stop working exactly when you need them most. So if you picture in your head the last time you had to slam the brakes, you were probably braking, 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 came to a stop. Imagine if you were braking, 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 and then your brakes stopped working. And all of a sudden, instead of decelerating, you're actually maintaining the same speed, not slowing down. This can sometimes kill people. And it's sometimes, unfortunately, because they didn't change their brake fluid every two years, like brake fluid manufacturers, like motorcycle manufacturers, car manufacturers, everybody recommends change your brake fluid every two years. So does Adersh's experience justify my concerns about Royal Enfield braking components? I can't say that because we don't know how long it's been since he was maintaining his brake fluid. We don't know enough to know whether the machine has failed its owner or whether the owner has failed to maintain his machine properly as he should. He didn't tell us when the last time he did any kind of brake service was, we just don't know. However, from reading the other comments, we can clearly see that there are a lot of other cases of Royal Enfield 650 brake issues that are not due to bad brake fluid, that are dealer maintained motorcycles where the brake system is failing, it's letting air in the lines, it's just bad components that aren't sealing the system the way that they should. So I warned my people, my audience, you guys, for years about brakes on the interceptors and other issues when all the other YouTubers only wanted to say nice things about these motorcycles because it's better for views on YouTube if you just play nice and smile. But I'd rather have less of a following and give you guys the truth because at the end of the day, this information could save people's lives and I'm glad that more people are starting to publicly talk about it. So that's great. So what can you do if you currently own a Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 or GT650? First of all, call up your local Royal Enfield dealer, give them your VIN number, and they can tell you if you have any outstanding recalls on your motorcycle, even if you bought it used. That's cool. They can still look it up and say, it needs to have this brake recall work done or it doesn't or whatever it is. Recall work is free right? So even if there's something to be done and you're completely broke, you can just tell them, I have no money. I'll only do what's covered under the recall for free. They will only do that work and it costs you nothing and you ride away and your motorcycle is hopefully better than it was when you dropped it off. The second thing that I think everyone should do, whether you own one of these bikes or not, is I have a video showing three different ways of how to tell if your motorcycle brake fluid has gone bad. You can easily do all three checks yourself at home in your underwear. It's very easy and it costs you nothing. Well, two of the three ways cost you nothing. It's a really quick video. It's super easy. It shows you an essential skill in just a few minutes that could save your life. I strongly suggest watching my how to tell if your motorcycle brake fluid needs replacing video after this. I'm Adrian from your motorcycle. I make videos that help motorcyclists. Like and subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, ride safe, but have fun.